I was born and raised in Oxnard, California, and I'm a third generation Mexican American. Being from a low income family, I remember we were living in a motel. No one knew that we were living in a motel. I would go to Bubbling Springs Park and I would sit under a tree for two hours, two and a half hours, having negative feelings about just kind of what I was going through. So one day I literally woke up and I recall laying in bed for an hour just reflecting on everything that I was going through at the time. And I just knew that this is not how I was gonna live the rest of my life. And I remember just opening my laptop, going to the Oxnard College website, and literally signing up for college right then and there. One of the most impressive things about Manuel is the degree in which he's overcome tremendous barriers in his life. He really has this tremendous uh, potential for resilience in that he has a goal and he doesn't let anything get in his way. It's something that I think we all can learn from. I think what drives Manuel is not only a desire to succeed for himself, but also knowing that he represents so many other students, whether it's low-income students, first-generation to college students, students of color, etc. He has a story that he knows is relatable. He's an incredibly mature, resilient, upbeat, talented individual, and I sometimes think he doesn't credit his own strength enough in turning things around. I actually don't know how he overcame all of those obstacles, and he's so humble about it. One of the things that uh, Manuel has taught me is resilience and patience. Um, again, patience is a really crucial trait to have in, uh, well, in life, but in academia as well. And I see how stresses sort of roll off his back. And sometimes I have to sit back and think, wow, that's a good lesson for me too. I first met Manuel when he applied to a National Cancer Institute funded summer program. By the end of that eight week period, Manuel had developed a conference presentation that he then delivered in the fall at a national conference that really only faculty and grad students present at. I think one of the highlights from an academic uh, perspective is he published a first author peer reviewed paper in health psychology, which is the top behavioral medicine academic journal in the world where many faculty would like to get published. The fact that he did this as an undergrad is just truly amazing. He's someone that brings people together and is always concerned about his community. So that degree of wanting to give back to those who are less fortunate to service his community, I think that really motivates and drives him. He talks about reducing physical and mental health disparities in underserved groups and so my hope is that he will continue to make a difference in that arena, very broadly speaking, through research, through service, through teaching. That's really what drives me to know that my education, along with the experiences that I've learned throughout my college experience, I can share that knowledge and that wealth and hopefully empower other students to do the same. I think education has been crucial in Manuel's life and it might well be a turning point in which he was allowed to be in an environment that was very enriching, that gave him the opportunities to pursue his interests, and that fostered this passion, this flame of intellectual curiosity. I'm very happy for my education, and I'm very happy for where I'm gonna end up, but my biggest goal in life is to buy a house. It's to buy a house that I can have and call my own, so that my kids don't experience the same thing I experienced in life. But I also wanna look back on my life and think, I did everything I could in my power to make my life as enriching as possible. Every student that walks through my door has a unique story, but I think with Manuel in particular, his spirit is so shiny. <laughs> and he's been through a lot in his life. I think things such as homelessness and not having a place to stay and family issues sometimes are out of our control. But what I would like to share with others is that there's a lot of things that are also in your control. I think my success and my future, I owe it to everyone that's been there throughout my life. Manuel, on behalf of San Diego State University, congratulations on receiving the prestigious Razzie Award. We are so proud of you and we're rooting for you along the way.